Here we go, squad. Welcome to episode two of Spring Bear Season. I'm gonna go down, meet the fitness man down at his cabin. I couldn't be more pumped for this day and a half coming up. We found bears last time. We didn't have an operational gun. This time, we're gonna make sure the gun is operational. It is, but we're gonna go shoot a couple extra confidence rounds. Make sure all systems go because there's bears. We're fixing to send stuff at them. Here we go, y'all. Stuff's blooming. Let's go, bear season. Come on. Everywhere I go, I've got these people coming at me. No matter what I do, I can't make anybody happy. Four walls are closing in here, that's all I can see. There's exits everywhere. He's ready, if you could, okay, I'm on him. Hmm. Episode two, vlog two, second session of bear hunt. Today's Sunday, Mother's Day. Shout out to all the moms. Those arrows hit each other? Yeah. That's what it sounded like. Guys, welcome to day four or something, bear hunting with fitness vlog man back there. Two. Bear vlog two, bear epi two. Uh, we're heading up into the hills on dirt bikes, which I'm pretty excited about, man. We're gonna go do some uh, some exploring, checking out new drainages. Fight our way through snow, try to get to the other side of the pass. There's been a lot of weekend warriors in here and they left evidence, so, <laughs> and our bear sightings went down immediately. Yeah, yeah, tell them about how this one guy left some evidence behind, tell them about that. Just a big old dump right at my glassing spot that I always go to, so he obviously knows about it. Left a pile of toilet paper. I think he, well, I think when he wipes, he takes his toilet paper and just makes it a ball. Probably makes a mess. I'm a folder, personally, just one fold. Uh, what are you? Comment below, do you one fold? <laughs> <laughs> or do you ball it up like Dirk Durham? And yeah, I just told you the truth, Dirk Durham. You're a baller. <laughs> you're a baller. He's a baller, man. So we're gonna head up into the hills, bring you guys along. We're gonna be on dirt bikes, exploring new territory. Wish us luck. Plan is we're gonna set the bar high. We're gonna double up. We're gonna double up and bring bears out of here. Oak shape. Um, in mid story, I was like, blood bear. And uh, it was 650 yards, and it came out for maybe a minute and then dove into the timber. Not a lot of green grass there, but this is the spot I was. This is actually where I killed my bear last About year. We can't. Two miles as a crow flies is where I killed my bear last year. Spotted it from here. Whew. 
but I seen at least three or four bears on this road system last year. So I told Tim, let's get through the snow, come over here. We might see a bear and we saw one pretty fast. Uh, we'll probably come back. There's more than one bear over here for sure. Uh, did you guys see the footage of the moose yeah. on the road? How cool is that? It's so cute. We're gonna go see, uh, take a peek on the backside. I think we're gonna end up hitting snow, but we'll try. And then we're gonna wrap around, check the other backside. I think we're gonna hit snow, and then we'll come back over here. And then it's early in the day, man. It's three o'clock. We got an hour and a half till bear thirty. So let's roll. This is the kafaru hoodlum, one I use for elk, and it's just can carry so much stuff. And I did lighten my pack. I left a vortex spotter at home, tripod at home, camera. I got Tim, man. I can carry heavy stuff. He's big. Tim's big, guys. He's way bigger than me. I think partly because I'm small and he's not small. We make the perfect dream team. <laughs> Tim's trigger finger got real itchy there, folks. Like, he was like, are you going to go after the bear or what? And had that bear hung out, I think Tim would have shot it because it's cool. Bears are cool to kill. Bears are cool. And Tim, get, dude, how many tanks can we get in the spring? Two or three? You can get two? I can get two. You can get two. That's four. And you love bear meat more than anyone I know. So let's get you some bear meat. Welcome to the Thunder Mill. With these big puffy clouds and it's getting like five o'clock thermal-ish, I'm gonna stay on this side, keep it visual as I get approached. I'll lose sight when I cross that feeder and then hopefully pop back out. I don't know where I'll be able to see you though. And I'll roll my, wear my head cam. Sounds yeah, good. I think I'll, I'll probably be at the highest point over there. I'll probably get over there okay. on that. But he, he moves a lot. This bear I've hunted last year quite a bit and he hangs out right in this little, he doesn't leave this area. So yeah, man. here we go. Well, I would rather see you get in there. All right guys, there goes Dan. We got this bear down here feeding on this finger. And he's a nice one, but he's moving around. He's all over the place. It's good to see bears. It's really good to see bears. Fingers crossed for Dan. Did you see what happened with the bear? Yeah, I'll tell you, I'll tell you the whole story. Okay. I've got some water. Uh, so the wind right now, you guys can see it, but it's kind of going, it's kind of swirly. The bear was across this little cut and there's water in there. And so I jammed and kind of stayed right in a little higher just so I get visual on him the entire time, which I did. I ranged him at 160 across the canyon. I was like, okay, what's this wind want to do? And I checked my wind and it went, and then I put my glass up on him and I saw him stop, stick his head up, which if you've bear hunted long enough, you know, that's the worst. And I saw him do that. He just got my wind and what's he going to do? But he just creeped at an angle down into like heading down into the water and the timber and i was right there and i was like holy crap he's angling right to me so i went down and i was kind of on his bear trail we went down and then he stopped i stopped i ranged him he's 81 and um so i was like okay this i'm not out of the game yet and then he stood there for five minutes and then he went down real slow even further and i was like i'm on his bear trail i bet these tie in sure as shit. i went all the way down and I crept on his bear trail and I stopped when I was like, I could see the creek bottom at like uh, 20 yards. And I looked up and I'm just glass and I'm like, man, he, I would have heard him. He must have laid down. And sure enough, there he is. He's laying down, range him 35 yards. And he's laying down and he's staring right at me. And he's just doing this the whole time. Feel you with my, my iPhone and I had this on. And I'm like, all right, if he stands up and turns, he's 35 yards, dead. So I slid, or I was at 40 with my uh, bottom pin, and so 20, 30, 40. I just sat there, and then he stood up, and when he went right through my lane, I didn't know what to do, so I went, I pulled back, and I went, meh. <laughs> he was like, whatever, dude. He just kept walking, and then he came to another shooting lane, and he stopped at 40, and I'm like, oh my gosh. So I started like going through my shot process, and the shot didn't break, and he, I mean, it wasn't very much time, and then he kept, then he, he hustled out. So we had a really good encounter. I will say he looked good from far, but when I got close, he was far from good. Like he was probably a 150 pound bear, like a five foot bear. From over here, I told Tim this was the, there's a big one in here and I thought he, that was it, but he's living, all his trails are right there. He's getting water 
and coming out and getting grass right there. He'll he'll be back out. Someone might want to shoot him, maybe Tim or I mean I would, but it just swirls in there so bad. I've actually, if you guys can see over there, there's a, there's a cut road coming down to him. I've actually made a stock on a different bear from that side this same night. The wind was going up, but once you come halfway down, the thermals suck down, so it tricks you. You're like, oh cool, I got the wind. You're coming down, and then about halfway, when you're by 100 to 200 yards from closing the deal, it swirls and then the thermals. So it's just a really tricky spot, but having fun. And I got good phone scope footage of that bear. Here, Tim, I'll show you this video. Because we're looking at a brown, uh, black fuzzy down there. Black fuzzy, fuzzy, and we're just trying to confirm that he's not a, a small class bear. We're trying to figure out what, what's going on. This bear could could take a dirt net maybe. Is that but trigger? It's exciting, Where's man. that trigger finger? Right here. How itchy I got, is got it? the wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, we can get we can get more than one tag, and um, you know my freezer's light, so. I'm I'm um I'm pro bear management as long as it's not, as long as it's not a bad situation. After some game planning and strategy talk. Dan and I decide that it's time to douse this bear. It's 400 yards across the canyon, and we figure this is going to be our best opportunity. The bear starts feeding down and getting slightly closer to us. Something alerts this bear and it starts moving down the hill towards us. Dan and I are shuffling between trying to get the camera ready, trying to get the gun ready and coordinated for a shot. This bear is feeding down towards the road and we're hoping it's gonna stop somewhere and give us a shot opportunity. Let's go. He's gonna end up on the road, Tim, so let's just get set up to shoot him off this road. Okay, he's about 50 yards from the road. Okay, he's about on the road. Yep, he's ready, if you could, okay, I'm on him. I think he's gonna hang out there for a second. Stop still, doesn't know what the heck happened. You can see on video both shots went high. Dan and I could not tell that in the field. So we dropped down into the canyon, went to where the bear was, and determined that it wasn't a hit. I felt terrible about the shots missing. Both shots missed high. I spent a lot of time reflecting on that. I don't feel like doing the whole monologue explanation. Back to the drawing board to prepare harder and figure out what we can do for the next one. Subscribe to the channel, hit that bell. We will catch you all back here for episode three. And here's a quick preview of what's coming.